Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Bellfire, and today we're back in Oxygen Not Included. And I've learned that if this space gets too full, uh, which of, of oxygen, 7.2 kilograms of it, uh, then the all of the polluted dirt, slime, all of that will no longer emit. So, I may be making a very poor choice here, but it's kind of sort of necessary. So that's top priority, then let me deconstruct that and that, and then just simply move that to right here at maximum priority. Just simply because that is a lot of oxygen. And yes, I know, I'm building an insulated gas pipe all throughout my base. I, I'm fully aware. Let me also set that one to a yellow. Where's Calcifix? There, is that Calc? There's Calcifix. Dr. Memphis. Where's Dr. Memphis? Grabbing plastic? Yep. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm... No longer... Oh, one other thing I did. I added this. The gas range. In between now and the last episode. So, if you're wondering what exactly happened that's new, this happened. But that's about it. Oh, and my water level has decreased rather significantly. Oh, dear. That's not very confidence boosting. Hmm. Oh. I hope they build that quickly. Everything else is priority five. Oh, thank you. So there we go. This should slowly start pumping out all the excess oxygen. Oh no, I didn't even realize that. Uh-oh. But basically, I have this pipe running straight to my secondary planetoid. Or to the planetoid, I should say. Also, as you can see, I'm still missing ceramic. But that's because I've, as you can see, ran out of clay. And it says my oxygen... Oh, well, yeah, here, that makes sense. There is no oxygen production. Sedimentary rock. You know what? There we go. Who's my best builder? Well, first, I want to... F ref here we are. I want to say... Ancient Demon. Yeah, I'll send Ancient Demon. That should be good.
My only question is where... There's Ancient Demon. Teleport. Alright. Right off the bat, things are rough. Water all over the place, polluted oxygen, hydrogen. So yes, right off the bat, things are not wonderful. Oh, and the entire base is rather cold. Got it. Good to know. Liquid eth ethanol. I should have brought someone with a thermal suit instead. Maybe even someone with a super hard digging trait. Reich, go eat! So let's see, we have slime, regolith, ice, Crushed ice. So, Pachila, Copper Meteor, Ice Meteor, and Slimy. Toxano, Oxalite. Okay, interesting. A bog bucket. That's interesting. And then where's the... Oh, Ancient Demon is uh, trying to sleep, I should say. So you know what? Utilities, space heater. I have no ore whatsoever. Wonderful. When you get a chance, go ahead and mine that. All right, there we go. That's something else I need to make, a outhouse. Overpressure, great. Well, unfortunately, I don't have plastic that I can use. Well, my hope was to use this planetoid as a little bit of a oxygen buffer. I don't know how well that's going to work out now. But, let me go ahead and go to utilities again. Space heater. Oh! I know I don't have enough cobalt yet, but I will eventually. There you are. How are you looking for food? And you're probably still going to go focus on... Yep. Okay, 64 degrees. So it's a, it's pretty warm down here. Oh, wait. I know what I can do. Oh, wait. Maybe I might be able to pull it off. This one's nowhere near as important. There we 
There we go. But this one is much more important. There. Then we have some diamond, copper, more copper, polluted mud, polluted dirt. You know what? Let me head back here real quick. I want to send a little bit of plastic. Who's starving? Ancient demon. Okay, yeah. Let me guess, you're going to get food? Yep. After you're done eating, I'll go ahead and send you back. Okay, so we have two biobots currently coming to store some plastic. Good. You have some plastic? Algae. Not what I wanted. You know what? No, it's fine. Let me reselect algae. Set this back down to one. Then let me also deselect plastic. Toilets. Oh, speaking of, you know what? That works in my favor. Because that means eventually I'll be able to have all these doors basically be held open. I'll deconstruct that and simply replace it yeah, I have refined lead. It works. So I'll just need to bring someone over here who has the required skills to do all that. But it's good seeing... How's my... Oh, see y'all. There. Battery looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm thinking I may start trying to redo my entire power system. Just so it's a little bit more efficient and a little bit more safe. So let me see. So one, two, three, four, space. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And before you all ask, no, I'm not going to vent my, my current base into space. Even though, oh, I can do that to vent the excess oxygen in here. Why didn't I think of that? Well, um, hmm. 
I'm going to let the game run while I let my duplicates dig this out some. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. And what's wrong with my crops? That. What's wrong with you? Pressure. The gas pressure is too high? Don't tell me it happened again. Do I need to vacuum this place out yet again? One thought. I think I do. <sighs> I hate having to do this every single time. Or no, do I just need a little bit more CO2? I, I had the math for it too. Oh, what was it? I... I don't remember the math I had. All I remember is the pressure was pretty stinking high. Or, hang on, let me guess. It's because of that one polluted oxygen tile that's messing everything up, I bet you. Well, no, it's not that, because... I mean, no CO2 has le leaked over any edges yet, so that's the good thing. The only thing is, I'm... I think it is the polluted dirt. That's causing problems. I wish I left it set up. Oh, no. That's F7, yep. What was the ratio? I don't remember. But what I, um, I'm probably going to have to do is either filter out this polluted oxygen continuously, which I really don't want to do. Okay, I'm... Hoping I just need a tiny bit more um, CO2, even though I don't think I do. I'm honestly thinking I should just restart the entire system. What's this? Oh, this has carbon dioxide and hydrogen in it. Oh! Um, F7. Yes, okay. So, I'm a little... Oh, what was the filter design I had? Nope, that's not it. No. That's the breeder I have. Nope, nope, no. Nope. No. So, did, did I not save it? I didn't. Wonderful. Okay, give me one moment to find it. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. And I think I remember exactly what I used. So, if I remember right, it's a gas ventilation piece. Turned on its side. It should be one gram a second. Or is that exactly what it is? Unless I made this thing wrong, in which case... I'm gonna be mildly upset. And yes, I'm still working on making all that. So, to answer anyone's question, yes, I'm planning to refill the farm yet again. For the however many of the time.
Ah, so the filter just broke. Got it. Did I build it wrong? Honestly, I could have. Because I'm... I did build it wrong. The gas valve is backwards. Alright, there we go. That should eventually fix that. I know I'm producing more than enough oxygen. Alright, so far so good. Really? Your feeders are empty. Now, why is that? Those are eight. That is nine. Sedimentary rock. Let me see. What's currently in you? Igneous. Let's see. Well, only stone hatches can eat igneous rock, so... Igneous rock. Right? Stone hatch. Why are you glum? Well, ain't uh stone hatch. It's sedimentary. I see now. That's why they've only been eating sedimentary rock until now. I see. Well, there we go. Let's see, for the hatch. Sedimentary rock, yeah, it has to be sedimentary. For the stone hatchlings to eat it. Got it. And then if you're wondering, yes, the water level being as low as it is, is starting to bug me slightly. But thankfully, we're at a point where water's flowing again. Nice cold 6.5 degrees C polluted water. Hmm. So now I'm beginning to pump it out. This needs to be set to one gram a second. And absolutely minuscule amounts, right? I mean, it is a gas pump, so... Oh, I messed up the junction, that's why. Let me go ahead, disconnect right there. I know this makes absolutely no sense. It will in just a second, trust me. And yeah, there's probably an easier way to do this, but... Oh, well. We're here now. Okay. There we go. All the hatches have plenty of food now. And then we have so many baby hatchlings and stone hatchling. Or, yeah, stone hatchlings and then so, so many eggs. Okay.
And it looks like... Well, okay, good. I will be cooling off the hatches, then coming back through here, I think. Yep, I'll be coming back through the base. Got it. Because apparently the... That's Shift F2. Yeah, the logic screen. I'm surprised about that. You know what? I will take it when I can get it. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Hmm. So it looks like this is finally fixed. Okay, which pipe? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Hydrogen. Now, where's the empty command? Let me just go ahead and empty this pipe real quick. All right, there we go. Wait. Huh? Did I? No, I did not. I don't think. No, I did not mess it up. Okay. There we go. There goes this uh, carbon dioxide filter. Good news. And this is why I just wanted to combine them. So they clear this place out quicker. So then the other thing I want to make... Not that. Are two... Where are they? Gas meter valves. If my assumption how they work is right, then they are exactly what I need. So then, again, it's a U. That goes there. Then that can go up. That can go up. Then this can go across. So you're good up to what, 2,000 grams? 10,000, 10, okay. And also I would be using my vacuum pumps, but unfortunately something happened to the mod and it now no longer works. Which is so amazing. But what I'm going to do real quick is clear out these two things of polluted dirt. If I could, I would love to prevent polluted oxygen from seeping into my base. Or hydrogen, not polluted oxygen. That looks weird. And... By the looks of it, I did. So then I just want to set this down to one gram as well. And I need to hook both of these up to power, which is simple enough. And I need to turn that off of yellow alert. Got it. There's that. 
Then as far as this goes, I'm just stuck, really. To put it simply, that's exactly where I'm at. But yeah, I'm going ahead and resetting the farm because I'm thinking that would just be a lot easier. Alright, let's see the gas meter. Yeah, I'm right. I was right. So, if I want 1,000 grams in here and here, then I'm going to need to do a little bit of math. Okay, so that's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 89. 89 kilograms. That's a temporary number. And then 23 kilograms, right? It's F11, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yes. No, wait, 33. Then 94 minus 13. I did my math wrong for this bit. 81, not 89. I was close. 81. There we go. So now, that makes one kilogram per block, roughly. That should work, I, th I believe. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh? Did I somehow manage to accidentally stabilize it? F7. Let me just launch real quick and make sure. Because if I did, then that's great. Let's see. Your scales are still growing, right? Yep. It looks like I fixed it. Okay, I'm going to leave all this infrastructure in place in case I happen to um, break it again. Because I've done that way too many times to count. And you haven't been set yet. So what I want to do is get two more bridges and then have this travel up, round, down, then disconnect that pipe. Oh, and it's only storing hydrogen. Nice. Okay. Right, where is... You're all the way up there, and you all already mined this all out. Wonderful. I'm kind of surprised you all did that that quickly. I will dig out a second layer, and then I'll slowly go from here. And I know I have enough oxygen production. But the only times I'm not producing oxygen, there are two of them. I run out of water. I haven't run out of water yet, so that can't be it. Or I'm full on oxygen. That's the second scenario. 
Okay, let's see now. I mean... It's perfectly stabilized. What the... Okay, then. You know what? No complaints from me. Yeah, no complaints from me since it's all working. But what I will do is go ahead and hook pipes on to this one and this one. And go ahead and lead them into their pers or respective places. Like, for example, this one will need a bridge. So since it'll need a bridge, I'll go right here and put it like that. Then this one right here will need a another brit. That's not the CO2 line. And if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna head further down to like right there. There, there, disconnect, bridge, one, two, there we go. I want that all to be under the construction specifically. This is all unimportant construction. All right, there we go. Uh, hello? I guess I'll just wait for those to be built then. The only one that'll be annoying is... Never mind, they're all reachable, I think. Yeah, they're all reachable. Nice. That means I don't have to do anything extra. Like dig something out or anything like that. I won't have to do that. I will have to do that there. And there, though. But other than that, that's perfectly fine. Alright. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye, guys.